Heavy breathing. An invoice. Well, we won't look at that. That's too scary. this wow. mamma mia mamma mia oh look at that gold gold oh Ooh, it has to come out and there it is the iphone 12 pro max we've opened the box we've taken the phone out We've, we've looked all around it and um, you've seen that part. And uh, now what we're going to talk about today is just a few um, general impressions of the phone. Just on initial impressions. The appearance of the phone. What's your impression? Actually, itself, the appearance. The, the, the appearance, uh, it's a very attractive phone. I have to admit, I, I'm not an Apple fan. Uh, but the but the phone itself is a very nice looking phone. It's got that uh, kind of square appearance that the old iPhones had. I think it was the, the Series Four, which is kind of boxy. But I, I like that. It's very attractive. Um, the back of the phone is a is a matte surface, and it doesn't leave any uh, fingerprints, fingerprints, which is great. And if you've ever had uh, these very glossy phones, they look dreadful after a few minutes. But this is super. This is really nice. What uh, what is a little bit uh, off putting? Off putting. Um, the sides are very glossy. These are, I think, a stainless steel, which is uh, plated in some finish, and these show every single um, fingerprint mm. all the time. But it's only a small amount, and probably most people are going to put these in a case anyway. So, and then we chose the gold. Because yes. it's going to be mine, yes. right? And she's a princess. Because he's technically the basher of iPhone. No, I'm not a basher <laughs> of iPhones. I just don't like them. <laughs> 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 I'm not into the Apple ecosystem. But I do have an iPad, but I'm not really into the Apple ecosystem. No, in, uh, since this is a pretty expensive phone, what do you think? What is your impression of the capacity? Of well, the this phone? is this is the the base um, uh, capacity for the Pro Max, which is 128 gigabytes. And these days, it I, I can't say that that's a lot, uh, but it's also not uh, not the old 64 bit uh, gigabytes that uh, they used to give. So 128 is okay, I suppose. So you're saying that. $1,486 mm -hmm. is worth it for 128 no, gigabytes. No, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that the actual physical capacity of 128 gigabytes is okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, 256 obviously is better. And my, my um, Note 9 has 512 gigabytes, of which I still have 200 gigabytes left. Mm. But that means that I couldn't swap to a phone like this because the capacity is not enough without having to pay an arm and a leg. The, the size end. and the weight. Hmm. Well, for me, uh, it's okay. I mean, it is quite a big phone. Uh, it's quite wide. And uh, definitely I couldn't use this. I mean, I, couldn't be, I wouldn't be able to hold it and do stuff on it single-handed. It, to me, it's definitely a two-handed phone. That's even for me. So for a rare, it's going to be definitely a two-handed phone, if not one foot and two hands. Yeah. Yeah. But the, but the weight is nice. It, it, uh, I don't like um, phones that uh, are, have light. no weight. 
they don't, they don't feel like they're worth it. Mm. And, and this is this is actually quite a nice weight. Actually, the the weight that is too like felt like it's fake. Yeah, right. <laughs> you think you're buying a bit of plastic, right? Yeah, that yeah. that's my feeling. I don't and know you, about you. You. <laughs> you definitely don't feel like with this phone. The the, the feel is is good quality. I mean, it, it feels like a quality phone, huh? and it is. The length comparing to the Note Nine is the what? The length. The length is about the same, actually. If you if you put the two together, um, the the height is about the same. Uh, but the um, iPhone is a little bit wider. Yes. Now the reason that we're not talking about the latest uh, Note Twenty Ultra, blah blah blah, is uh, our our opinion is a little bit different. Uh, if we're comparing phones then we should be comparing it to what, we, what we're used to using and seeing what the differences are. If it's worth that yeah. play. Yeah, if it's worth What it. about the camera? Well, you've got three cameras, right? And you can go from a wide angle, which is a 0.5, I think, 0.5 magnification, mm -hmm. up to two and a half times with the Pro Max uh, zoom. Comparing to some other cameras these days, that's not a great... Uh, focal length uh, difference. Siri, take a selfie. Pretty good. Oh, okay. okay. Siri didn't take the selfie, but Siri did bring up the camera, which is, which is pretty good. What about the video recording? What's so special about the Pro Max? But actually, I've played with it oh. last night the videoing of the camera mm -hmm. tell um, you honestly i didn't see any much difference <laughs> no but i think actually um you know we, we will get really worked up about the quality and everything but unless you're looking at it on a on a large tv you're mm -hmm. not really going to see a lot of difference i mean if you're only looking at like youtube this this part of the screen you're not going to see any benefit at all uh, from uh, having a you know high resolution camera or whatever. So that's him antagonizing me, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be pretty good because my phone, my S9 Plus, Samsung S9 Plus phone doesn't have a 4K yet. So this one, this one has 4K. Has 4K already? I think at six. Is it 60 frames mm. a second? Yeah. Wait for the Face ID. It doesn't work! Because you kept on waving it in front of me! Go on then, you get it to work, go on. Well, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, let's just say, when the, when Raya did the facial recognition, it was dark in here last night, she had no makeup on. And today, it's very bright, and there's loads of makeup. <laughs> You know what, I was about to say the face ID was really good at first, but now it doesn't work, so I don't even know how to tell you now. Oh, it did, finally. It did. Oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. But how do you know when it's worked and when it hasn't worked? The lock thing. Ah, oh, will... right, okay, okay. So there's, a, there's a, a little padlock uh, icon at the top. Huh? Yeah, it will yeah. like show the unlock whatever yeah. <laughs> yeah we bought a phone right and we haven't put a sim card in it why would we want to do something like that huh huh I, why 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 would we want I, to put a sim card in a phone so obviously we haven't tried the 5g and you, this phone claims to have a 5g it's, it's just a 5g antenna that they have in there but we have no idea what it will be like uh, we have it set up only on wi-fi which is 4G Wi-Fi. Which country does have 5G now? Well, uh, the US has it in some areas. Some but areas. But it's very limited in, in uh, some larger cities. Chicago, in New York. But I also, think... it's not all around the US yet. No, no. It's very limited. I mean, this is why it, it's questionable. Um, okay, if you're going to keep this phone for a few years, it's probably worthwhile uh, getting the 5G. But if you're planning on having this phone just for a year and then getting rid of it, there's no, there's nothing, there's no value mm. to 5G. I think if you're the type of person that upgrades a lot with the phones, like every year you want to have an upgrade. Blah, 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 I think the five, looking for 5G is not worth. No, it. it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not worth it at all. You just wait until all the countries or the country that you live in actually live in 
has the 5G yes. network. How about the Philippines? Uh, no. Well, I've read something about it, the battery. They claim it to last for 20 hours. 20? Yeah, with video playback. 20? Yeah, really? and then with video playback streamed up to 12 hours. Mm. That's, that's what they claimed. And with audio playback up to 80 hours. 80? Yes. Oh, for just on audio, you mean, like MP3? Mm. Huh. Interesting. Well, uh, we'll certainly be testing that out because I can't see a phone lasting more than about eight hours with Raya Especially. because the screen's on 100% of the time. <laughs> this is this is just our first impressions. I mean, overall, uh, I really like the aesthetic of the phone. I think it's very attractive. Uh, it's certainly a good quality phone. Uh, <laughs> so it is expensive. I mean, very expensive. Um, and as to whether it's worth it or not, I, is any phone really worth that much? I mean, we also looked at um, the uh, Samsung the, the, Ultra. The Note 20 Ultra. Mm -hmm. um, and what annoyed me about that is that uh, uh, Samsung in different areas market it with a different processor. Mm -hmm. So you're not actually with getting the same the, price. With the same price, yeah. So that's the reason that uh, I wouldn't go for a, a new Samsung at the moment. Uh, but at least when you buy Apple, all of their phones are the same. The same. So you can be sure that if you buy an Apple product... With anywhere, US, yeah. Asia, Europe... That it's going to be... The it's same. It's going to come as advertised, not with small differences or large differences. So I think from that point of view, uh, Apple is pretty good. Um, anyway... I, Although I, they don't give you free stuff. Oh, right. No, actually, we should mention something about the unboxing that you saw, right? Mm. Um, right at the beginning. I mean, they don't give you um, a charger. They don't Headphones. give you earphones. Right? I mean, <laughs> and they, they, they made up some something about or being uh, for environmental reasons. It's absolute yeah. rubbish. But actually, that is their nature for a very long time now. Well, slowly, slowly. Eventually, you may not even get the whole phone in a box. Who knows? <laughs> um, initial impressions, uh, very good. Uh, and um, we, we will, well, Rhea will enjoy getting to know it a lot more. And we'll probably come back and tell you her second thoughts at some time in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this has not been a technical evaluation. This is just completely our personal opinions. Because this is a channel that doesn't do proper techniques. No, we, we, we know nothing. Jon Snow. <laughs> Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> we know nothing and we don't pretend to know anything. Yes. So there you are. So, so that's it. It's all about fun and whatever. And spending money and then having to pay it back. Yes. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.